gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Like, I missed you so much. Like, I missed you guys so, so much. Like, cuddle yourself for a minute and be like, Olive missed you. Yes, I miss you so much, you guys. Um, the last time you guys saw me was last year. Oh my, you guys, wait. Happy New Year! Yes, Happy New Year, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful, extraordinary, amazing, splendid 2019. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? Like, how's your holidays? I hope your holidays was fun. Did you travel? Did you stay at home? You know, did you go to Shags? Um, what else? What else? You guys, where did you like see the new year? Ooh, ah, you guys, I saw fireworks. Okay. You know what, I'm getting too excited. Basically what I'm trying to say is I miss you guys so, so much. It was really fun having you guys um, for Vlogmas. <sighs> my Vlogmas squad is lit. From my last video, I said I'm going to be doing content every Tuesday and Friday. Or rather, I'll be going back to my normal schedule of posting every Tuesday and Friday on my channel. But, good news! <laughs> so the good news is you're going to be doing, releasing content three times a week and that is every Monday, every Wednesday and every Friday. You guys, you guys. Oh, oh, oh. Do you guys prefer 8 a.m. or 5 p.m.? So this is the first video of 2019 and we are doing the new year tag. Okay, so the new year tag is basically a few questions, just 12 questions you answer um, concerning 2018 and 2019. So let's get on the video. Question number one. Um, if you were to look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, which memory would it be? Hmm. The feeling of handing in my project from USIU. That is one memory I'd want to relive, you guys. Yes, I've graduated, graduation party was nice. But the feeling of knowing like this is the last thing I was doing for like degree and all that and you know all the staying up late um, oh my gosh like you know just to finish that uh, thesis paper and oh, basically honestly that's one moment I'd leave. I think the feeling was really amazing. What was one new year's re resolution that you accomplished? Yo! YouTube man! In my vision board for 2018 there are four things that I wanted to accomplish and I accomplished um, most but one of them was to start a YouTube channel and my YouTube channel was to be called Adventures of Hollywood. If you look here, my YouTube channel was meant to be called Adventures of of <laughs> Can you guys see Adventures of Hollywood? That is what my YouTube channel was to be called. Unfortunately, you know, and even in my vision, but I remember I sit in there, please subscribe to Adventures of Hollywood. So yes, I am really grateful for, for that. That's one accomplishment I am proud of. Number three, three words to describe last year. Oh my gosh. One, lessons. I think last year taught me so many lessons and that's, that's one way I'd, I'd describe last year, lessons. Two, growth. Um, the growth coming out of just the transitioning, the finding myself, you know, when trying to do what I want to do, just that growth aspect of my life. Like, and three, oh, I'd, I'd, I'd also um, call it mistakes because I have done the, like, I feel like out of all my years in my life, 2018 has been a, a year where I, I think I did quite a lot of mistakes. Like, basically, it's mistakes that I learned lessons from and now that I am in the growth phase. Like, it's, it's, it's basically those are the three words. Um, number four, best um, inspiration that you got last year, either from an artist or anyone in your opinion. Actually, a channel on YouTube that I got from a friend. And that channel is Valuetainment. And as soon as I stumbled that channel, and the, 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 the guy from the channel is called Patrick David, he's an entrepreneur, and he he basically teaches entrepreneurs how to make money and basically everything about, you know what, go check him out. When I found his channel, I just felt inspired. What's the best inspiration? Stumbling upon that channel. Yes. 
um, number five, something you look forward to this coming year. Oh, you guys, something I look forward to 2019. Oh my gosh, oh, the blessings. Oh, the results of all the hard work that people don't see. Um, the, ah, oh my gosh, I'm just looking forward to. I'm just looking forward to the outcome. Let me just say that the outcome. Anyway, I guess that's that's what I can't wait. I'm um, on the grind. Is all right. Yeah, pretty much. Um, six. What did last year teach you? Kai, last year taught me one thing, and I think I'll do this on the vid on my Wednesday's videos, you guys. Actually, yes. Now I wanna do a video of five things that. 2018 taught me that I feel like everyone should take account in their life so that's the, the video that's coming up but basically 2018 taught me to just trust myself and trust myself trust my gut trust my ideas trust my brain it taught me to trust God and trust myself as well I think that's the best way to put it I number seven what was your most one clothing item of last year so i have this satin bonnet that i wear on top of my head pretty much every day of my life in the house uh, everywhere in the bed when i'm chilling when i'm not working i usually have my satin bonnet i think every single day if you follow my instagram you'll know that i'm usually with this bonnet every single day yes that's the one thing i wore 2018 pretty much every day and thank you to my sister my sister gifted me that satin bonnet i love it so much um number eight if you had to sum up your ear in one word what would it be ah! hi guys <laughs> happy new year yeah you guys you just had to come interrupt my video anyway i think i stick to lessons um that's the pretty much the main thing i learned in 2018 and yeah next what are you hoping for more of this coming year Ooh! <laughs> well, all my 2019 vision board requirements are met i'm hoping for just finding my true purpose each and every day i'm hoping for that connection with god to just grow each and every day for me to hear him every single day that's one thing i'm also hoping for i'm hoping for kai, a lot of success a lot of money a lot of financial like breakthroughs a lot of content breakthrough on my channel you know like a lot of subscribers hint hint <laughs> like a lot of everything that yeah a lot of everything nice pretty much and a lot of growth per se so yeah um what are you hoping for less this coming year Aki please I am hoping for the devil to stop stop oh and I mean you the devil you know yourself Stop interfering with my plans. You people, if there's one person or other thing that interferes with my plans, it's the devil. The devil just knows to steal, kill, and destroy. You do something, he just, he just, ah, oh, yes. I, you, ah, limitations, his trials, his hurdles, his, that's, that's one thing I'm hoping less in my year. 11, the best book you read last year. Out of the three books, one was a YouTuber's book, How to Be a Boss by Lily Singh, my big god me. It was really, it's a really nice book. Second book I read was The Compound Effect, thanks to Joanna Kinuthia. She just talked about it in one of her videos and I just went in deep into it. And that book is simply amazing. Please read that book or The Compound Effect. Um, really nice book. So far those two, those two are nice. I'm hoping to read like a book a month this year. I need at least yeah, a book a month, a month a book, huh? a book every month this year. Number 12, this is the last question. What is your New Year's resolution for the upcoming year? Um, I have New Year, okay, not really, new, okay, I never call them New Year resolution. It's just what I made in 2018, continuing through 2019, but in a more experienced and tweaked format type of way. So all the goals I had in 2018 that I hadn't met are now either continuing or they've upped their game. So basically, my New Year's resolution, if it's YouTube, I really want you people to, I just want a bigger family and hopefully meet them and meet guys oh. and meet you guys one day. I just want all the, all the seeds are planted in my, um, in my life. If it's YouTube seed, if it's spiritual seed, if it's fitness and health seed, to all just sprout, you know, just blossom. Like my hair, 
anyway guys they are pretty much and yeah that's pretty much that's it for today's video oh 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 anyway guys that's it for today's video oh my gosh i love you guys i miss you guys so much and i'm happy that i'm back oh are you guys i'm back i'm back i'm back back with a bang and yeah see you on wednesday and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe please 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 help your girl out and yeah bye